Welcome to the Chris Dan Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Ah, uh, yeah. TNT. Yo. So you've heard of like they freeze people's eggs and embryos and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> what's it called? I mean, this is a weird way to start an episode, but yes, I have heard of that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so I saw an article. Walt Disney? No, no, no. Not that? This okay. was like, so they, a couple, mm-hmm. they, they like, they in fertilized an embryo okay. egg okay. and they cryogenically froze it. Okay. In 1992. Okay. So then... A girl later who was born in 1991. Who is this girl? Uh, Tina Gibson. What What's her relationship to the, the None. couple? No they, relationship. They froze it for like to be used later. Okay. So when this girl was 26. Yes. So this happened in what? 2000 whatever. Yes. This woman of no relation to this couple. Yeah. She... She got she got that egg. She carried that baby to term. How, how but you... she was born a year before they froze it. So it was like 26 years. It was under cryo freeze. And then like she successfully carried the baby to term and had it. That's weird. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I don't even know. Like, there's so much like chronology in that that I don't know if I truly understand. Like, Gibson said she wasn't told by doctors until she was pregnant. The embryo had been frozen for more than 24 years. So people wait. So people freeze the embryos and just like donate them to I mothers. I guess so. I didn't know them? that was a thing either. Yeah. See, that's that's kind of where I think I, I lost is like I thought they were freezing it for themselves, but they were freezing it so that somebody else. I could think have that it. somebody else could have a because. But I but I guess what's really interesting is like. You carry someone else's baby. Like, I know people do that for, like, um, uh, like surrogates, mm-hmm. right? Like, hey, my wife's infertile. We'll, we'll use her egg and my sperm, and you'll carry the baby or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. But, like, I didn't, I didn't quite understand the wait 24 years just chilling in a freezer, and then, like, Joe Schmo, Jane Schmo, yeah, wants a baby, and she's like, here's a someone else's sperm and egg like i thought we had kind of gotten over that with the whole idea of like sperm banks where you could go and kind of like pick yeah. out your designer so my question is and if then i enter f- in vitro if i find a woman who's willing to donate her eggs and i donate my sperm could we just put a bunch of them together and sell them to a, a thing and then other people can have them and it doesn't I mean, matter i'm gonna just say is that yes in theory, you could, but you better put a good ass resume together. A resume? Yeah, I got smarts. I didn't say you did. Podcast host. I didn't say you did not have. Smarts. Have I play volleyball? <laughs> you do. What kind of resume do I need to put together? Uh, one that is enticing enough to sell your sperm. Oh, they just—they know me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck does that even mean? What does that sentence mean? Explain. Every I want subject predicate the noun I verb predicate tell me so every long. fucking part of that sentence and what it meant. <laughs> what, did, what did I? <laughs> what did I say? I'll I don't about. know what you said. I said. Well, they know me. <laughs> okay. Well, understand. Lead in. Set up. Got you. Okay. Boom. They. Who the fuck are they? The people at the cryo lab. No, they don't. <laughs> And know me. What does know me mean? What does know? They know you. They know who you are. Yeah, they don't. They need, know. They, they know they you like need, a biological terrorist. They don't need my. They don't need my resume. <laughs> they, know, they know me. I just mean to the customer, the consumer. If you're gonna sell your sperm, I imagine that you have to be like. Uh, I'm a Nobel Prize peace Nobel Prize peace winner peace prize winner. I don't I don't know. listen listen. I'm a position PhD. I graduated top of my class. I'm a rec league volleyball player. <laughs> <laughs> I have a award winning podcast. <laughs> I have a master's degree. Look at that. Lining up at the door to get that seed. <laughs> they, exactly, they know me. So I was trying to say, you're yeah, questioning the, my my seed strength. But over like, here. if you were like an astrophysicist, or like even if you were like a celebrity, like if you were Drake, like honestly, if Drake was to start selling seed, 
he would make a lot, right? Yeah, but I feel like I could get like some low end seed money. Some low end, nobody low end is looking for seed though. Yeah, they if are. they are, if they are, they're looking for like somebody without any health issues or some somebody without like a, I'm strong like bull. Somebody without any like mental issues. Oh, and, I got those. And there's a lot of tests and stuff. Like, have you you've never donated semen? Before, no, I have not. No, no. There's, they make you take like a, a test, like an IQ Double. test. Um, I think an IQ test. I think they make you take like a mental illness or you know screener, like, like yeah. blood work to make sure you don't have any like exactly. Yeah, yeah. They they your they, enzymes aren't too high or whatever. Yeah, you can't just like honestly, it's not just like walk in the door and they hand you porn and you jack off in a cup. Like they 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 do their due diligence. They DD all over you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. They DD all over you. I don't know what that that means. Due saying. diligence on your ass. Yes, they do do their due diligence all over your ass. I guess that's gross. If that's what you want to say, that's what we said. But uh, yeah. So I don't know. You can't just walk in, get get a magazine, and jerk off in a cup. You gotta you, you gotta actually. That's be not how it. Jeff Foxworthy made it seem in his jokes in 1993. <laughs> that's that's true. Jeff Foxworthy was all about. Jerking off he told cups. a joke about that. He said, we don't do that here. All we needed was a urine sample. D right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not even trying that in a small town. <laughs> oh, I heard about that. <laughs> My mom was talking about that. I, you know, it just look. I don't want to push back on it. We can jump from seed talk to small I mean, town talk. Look, we might as well pop, pop it in at the I end. Mean, whatever. I, I don't know, Jonas. Have you watched the video? Uh, My mom was trying to get me to watch it, but no. Okay. Some uh, of it. If you watch the video, I will say is that there are more white faces than there are black faces in the video. So I don't really see the reason. Is there more white faces in a small town than black faces in general? I mean, maybe. there. There is some verbiage. If you actually listen to the lyrics, there is some verbiage that is used that can count, kind of sound a little dog wish -lish. The uh It comes across as very much uh, vigilante justice will prevail, and we're going to do whatever we want to you if yeah. you F around in our town. There is a thing where he says that I've got a gun that my, my dad gave me, and there's some... So <laughs> It's like, try to come into my town and do that, and we'll take care of you. But like I said, that's some cluck stuff, dude. It, there, there is some verbiage, so it's kind, it, it kind of it toes the line, and I think that might have even been like the uh, the ideal that the uh, director had in in his head when he did it. Oh, it, it absolutely is like don't mess around in my town because we're gonna take care of you. Especially the location of the church that they use, which was you know a, a church that is iconic in in history as well for some of the oh for lynching at atrocities that happened there. Oh wow, I didn't realize that part. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I I'm, I'm not necessarily going to put a hundred percent like uh, onus on Aldean, but uh, hasn't he been really famous for a long time? I mean, now, yeah, he I came mean, around. They he, know him. He's I, I've like I've liked some some Jason Aldean have you? songs. I don't know. <laughs> I've like some have you I don't know I don't know but I'm conservative dynamite right now all right, um, all right. <laughs> so, what are you doing in a small town then I'm not going to a small town um yeah and the, the whole try that in a small town thing is very dog whistleish in and of itself what's dog whistleish mean um dog whistle is think of what a dog whistle is it is a dog is a whistle that is at a frequency that you can't understand but dogs can yeah so if a person is to say something that is dog whistleish, it's something that might you know kind of get past me and you but a person that is in the know oh that's some like right wing ish stand back and stand down dog whistle oh people know people who the people it, who if it, you it, know you know yeah yeah i was gonna say i i f y k y right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh you know, you know. yeah 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 so 100 percent, a little dog whistleish, and i do give onus on that because like you need you, you need to know when you sounds like some of that f your yankee blue jeans stuff yeah like if you're in the media you gotta know it's like you don't necessarily want to like trigger certain groups into you know, I don't know. You don't want to give those groups an anthem. I don't stand want back, anything that's going to proliferate right? like that said. type of activity. 
No, no. Yeah, you don't want to give anybody an anthem. And well, God, Kid Rock tried to make one. I mean, I'm sure they worked for like a good week or Oh, I two. bet you people are still rocking out to that ish. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to tell me how to live. I guarantee you at some small town parties... That's like the <laughs> small town party. That's the that's the that's the they poof, when wanna, that comes on. That's when shit gets broke. I want to go to some of those parties. Jonas. Do you let's do a podcast tour where we go to small towns and I'm just black. <laughs> How about that? I mean, I'm willing to go if you're willing to have a gun. I mean, yeah. and protect me with your I'll life. protect you. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, small Texas small town small town tour podcast tour, dude. I feel like I wouldn't be welcome in a small town in Texas. You make it in a small town. You're an approachable guy. You're just like a city. You're a city boy. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, that's almost as bad. That's almost worse. I mean, you they're know. all like, get out of here, New York City. You come <laughs> here with your city boy Negro friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? My. No- <laughs> City boy, city boy Negro oh, friend. Lord. All right, anyway, uh, anyways, <laughs> that's that, that's really all the time we have for today. Go to the crazy now.com, subscribe for Jonas. Oh, uh, yeah.